Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Good evening, Friday night. What's up, Friday? Hi, nice. What's going on outside. over there? Friday night. Everybody's out here having a good time. It's the British invasion. Oi, come join us for some tea, eh? I was going to say, good husband, time. you've got to be talking British tonight. Got to None be of that American that way, then, stuff. Eh? That's what it's all about, then. <laughs> Sat, uh, Thomas would like to hear Fat Bottom Girls by Queen. I've got a fat bottom girl. It's about oh, this have. one. <laughs> it fits inside me little ride. Mine is a mantelpiece. A you mantelpiece, know, you could stand eh? your carriage clock on it. I've got my candelabras sitting on there. <laughs> I put the incense up there, let them burn. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like all cockney on me. It's gone. Got, got an, uh, where's, your, where's your Derby talk? What would you like me to say in Derbyish? <laughs> in Derbyish? <laughs> oh my gosh. My name is Thomas. You have got a lot to learn, though. I've got learn. a lot to learn, it right. <laughs> Not like you taught me a lot, you know. <laughs> you teach me a little bit here, a little bit there, and that's all I get is just a little bit. That's all I get, just a little bit. Oh, oh wasn't a little sorry, kid. I shouldn't be talking about my sex life. You killed the bloody bastard. I know, just killed a fly. I just went on a murderous a rampage fly. That was some kind with of a little fly. fly thing there, just a little bit. But I eat What's up, everybody? How are you? Nice to see you over here, then. Looking good we are. We go over here. Samo. Hello, yes, bloke. How Samo are you? Yes, Samo is in the, in the chat room, and he has done us a Bubba and Cooter British weather, so which, I cannot wait to hear which this. Which is what we've said before, that we never listen to the weather in advance. We have no idea what uh, what to expect, which makes it a lot more fun then. All I know is they love my tits. Hello Thomas, how are you lad? Nice to see you. And anybody else that's here, hello. Nice you're tuned in. Um, nice ooh. panties over there, husband. Oi. Randy is wearing a pair of panties with the British flag on it. Aye, just like a picture on the. Yes, on, in, he in, is. In, in the uh, yeah, up there. The, and he the keeps poster. bitching that they are creeping up his butt crack. <sighs> I hate that too. I know. I kind of think that about thongs. You know, what is the point in thongs? You know, you pull them out your bum hole, and by the time you've let go of the elastic, they're back up your butt crack again. Did you say thongs? Yeah, thongs. You know, you're like, these stupid why things are wanna, up my arse. And then you, you wanna... pull the elastic out your butt crack, and by the time you've let go of the elastic, it's back up your arse I can't imagine again. why you want to string up your crack. No. It's just going to be brown. Why not just put a piece of brown string <laughs> between the waistband and the and the front that, uh, <laughs> you know, where the sack holder is, or whatever you call that. What do you call that little front piece? Of, what do you call that area? Your, um... Veg cover? Fanny cover? Is it a fanny cover? Is it gusset area? <laughs> a gusset area? Yeah, I think so. There's actually I don't a name. know. I'm just, a, <laughs> I'm just a woman. I don't know. A, I ain't got a clue about how Oi. to. Go in the other room and cover your gusset. <laughs> 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 That's pretty disgusting, actually. So there's Thomas the in the chat showing. room. And look who is there. Who's that? Samo. I said Hello, Samo. I said that already. <laughs> Thomas been? said it is a cooter cover. You nasty <laughs> wank. A cooter cover. <laughs> oh, jolly good. Let me see your cooter cover. Uh, so do you guys in the chat room think Randy is making a very good Brit tonight? Or do you think he sucks as a Brit? Uh, obviously, everybody thinks I suck. Nobody <coughs> comes to the show anymore. Oh. All right, I know, just bullshit, I'm just fucking around, I'm dicking, whatever comes out of my mouth tonight. All right then, so, of course we've got some kinks lined up, Beatles, oh geez, we got all kinds of goodies, man, um, songs you probably haven't heard of, we also have, uh, let me see what we got here, by request, uh, we got a couple of requests Jojo. lined up here, Culture Club, uh, we got Robbie Williams, Donna Loves Ed Oh guy. look, let's play some Wham! Oh, let's say we didn't and don't. <laughs> Uh, Blur, Cream, Black Sabbath, of course. The Sex Pistols up next. Ooh, yes, um, yes, 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 yes. We got quite a list here. So, uh, what do you say we jump in your head first and hit it up with the Sex Pistols? <laughs> Yankee to Brit, the RTM Radio Network Friday Night Rock and Roll British style. Oh, say, old chap, rather. How's that sound? Is that British enough for you? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so what is everybody doing with their weekend? Thomas in the chat room said, crank it up loud. I know, and he got it cranking, chop, chop. I'm sure. <laughs> you know, of course it is Friday. Hey, what's up with all that there then? It sounds like old Big Ben. 
Hello, it Ben's a bit early. You're supposed to do it at the top of the hour. Oh, well. <laughs> they said Ben was in for repairs, so maybe that's exactly what's going uh -huh. on. I think I have to adjust the ducking a little bit here. You know what? Get out of here. I can turn it up and down better than that thing works. Oh, you got to love a brand new board, you garbage. Where's that Sir Alfred at? Hiding in there, I suppose. Oh, yeah, you leave him. Leave right him then. tonight. So what's up with the British over here, then? We got lots of British music for you, all kinds of it. Let's go over here. Let's do this one for Jojo. You can win, by the way, you can win a Yankee and the Brit Show hat if you could call up and give us your best British accent. You know, give us another bullshit story. We love British bullshit. Yes, a British yes. bullshit but story. But not anybody that's won anything lately. <laughs> hint, hint. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Well, you can't keep giving stuff away to the same person. That's I know, I know, I know. All right, then. Just so they're clear on that. Uh, let's see. What else was I going to add to that? Uh, Jojo is out there. Hello, Joe. Hey. Hey, that picture of my brother there. Show that to John. He ought to get a kick out of that. Be surprised the difference the way my brother looks now compared to what he did way back when we was all youngins. What a difference. I know. What an egghead. <laughs> <laughs> well, aside from that, yes, he is. And he's also an egghead. We took Mom out for dinner last night. Boy, was that a riot. What a crazy bunch. Mom and Pop. Look at Dad. Let's I know your dad like. knocking back them drinks he was. I know. He loves his martinis. He don't get them often, but when he does, get back. And your mum with a martini uh, putting one in the bag so she could take it home. I know, what did she think? Somebody was going to see her taking it or something? <laughs> I know. She was like, she got a takeaway cup from the waitress, and then she kind of sneaks it under the table and pours a drink in the puts a martini in the takeaway cup and then she puts it in a carrier bag and sticks it inside her bag. And then she walks on tippy toes out of the restaurant <laughs> so she doesn't spill a drop. Oh, she's just so cute. Can't waste one drop of that martini. Shake it, not stirred, of course. Oh, wait, that's British. 007. 007, yes, is. it is. Bond, James Bond. He likes his women shaken, not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one for JoJo. It's Culture Club. Miss me high. I always thought he had a pretty cool voice, actually. I thought he sounded great, really. Uh, Boy George, you know? Yes. Do you like him at all in any way? I actually met him one day, but he was quite ignorant. Really? Yeah, but I was canvassing at the time, so I... Now, what do you mean by that? You know, um, knocking on people's doors, drumming up a bit of the old business. Oh, right, you told me that. You'd rapped on his door one day. Yes, I did. He did answer the door, though. He did answer the door. Well, that's a good sport. <laughs> but he pretty much told me to get lost. <laughs> did he really? Yes, he did. Ah, you didn't even talk to him about his I thought, what a rude bastard. Did you know who it was when he answered the door? Yeah, yeah. when he answered the door, yeah. But you didn't try to talk to him about anything else? No, didn't really get that far. <laughs> That's what I mean by rude bastard. It must be a him or was it maybe because of you? Everybody loves me. Everybody wants a piece of me, so... <sighs> Could have been your approach, you know. Hey, you bloody wanker, you want to buy this shit? <laughs> Boys don't wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd go over well, wouldn't it? Oh, oh you're a boy. You're wearing makeup. <laughs> yeah. Bugger off, bitch. I'm jealous. Your eyebrows look better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> they do right there, don't they? <laughs> yeah. So I guess uh, I guess that conversation didn't go down to you. Um... I always thought he had a great voice, though, really. Yeah. I thought he sounded good. You know, but and right there at the end of that, you really get a good clear snap of it. And uh, although, when, although when I was a kid, when I was like a small kid, I didn't know the difference between his voice and George Michael's voice. You know, I just thought it was the same oh, person. Oh God, what a difference! But um, as you know, George as you get anyway. older, you learn these things. You uh, do you ever meet anybody else? British singers of any kind? Uh, I met a few soap stars, and uh, when I was in when I was working away, a few what? A few soap stars when I was working away. Um, not that you'd know any of them. And, um, not unless it and was I met that chick from uh, What's the Campground show. <laughs> and I met the Roly Polies and I met um, Rabsy Nesbit, which I think I might have showed you, Rabsy Nesbit. What the hell's a Roly Polies? The Roly Polies. Is that a band? <laughs> no, you, no, I wouldn't say the. Let me just oh, that little in. kid stuff you're talking about. No, they're like, um, I, I guess I. Black Pool. Roly, the roly polies. polies. Good God Almighty! <laughs> roly and I met Rapsy Nesbit once um, in Blackpool. There you go, lot. They're just like big, huge, 
Oh, they're all oh, roly poly looking. Yeah, <laughs> they're like big, huge girls, probably big girls like me, and uh, and they're old, and they've got big hats on and uh, like silly an dresses almost... on, and they perform on stage, and people just love them in these holiday towns. I can almost bet that was an exciting moment in time. <laughs> oh, it's the roly poly girls! <laughs> Yay! Whatever. <laughs> wow. But yeah, you kind of when you go to places like Blackpool and seaside places, you kind of know about them. What the hell is that? That one? <laughs> oh, I thought that was a belly. I think <laughs> it is like a, a belly. It's like a big penis right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, if you guys could see what we are looking at, in fact, oh, I might even geez. post a picture of what we're talking about. I'm going to post this picture on the Yankee. I tell and you the what, Brit though, page. the whole British culture is much more wide open than it is over here in America. I'll give you that, man. Just like that one's legs. They're funny. They're not shy. Their sense of humor. A lot of people don't think much of their sense of humor. I'll tell you what. They, sarcasm is like their art, I think. Uh, you know, they can tell you to bugger off in so many words, and you wouldn't have a clue what they were talking about. I think it's pretty cool. I've always followed the Brits for years. Um, I think I discovered British humor and stuff even before Benny Hill was around. Uh, when I was littler watching some of that stuff. But it was cool, you know. And there's so many great British TV shows and things out there anymore. So we are having a bit of a British-themed night Hello, tonight. Deborah. Girls. The bra that holds the tits is in the chat room. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff uh, going on. She is, she is, of course, wearing a British bra tonight because it is a British-themed show, isn't it, dear? Ah, uh, you know that, then. So we have up next. What do we have next? Come well, on, I tell thought me. I had uh, Thomas's tell request. Tell me here. now. I'm, I'm trying to now. relax a little bit. Now. I do have it right here, then. Yes. Shall we? Yes, sir. We shall. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, rockin' Friday night. Commercial-free, no politics, no religion, just Commercial-free, I got a minute. Let's just tell you guys What's about... That? The Yankee and the Brit signs. We can make you some of the coolest, coolest signs and we can mail them right to your door. All right, a little shameless plug, I guess. Yeah, well, we're not commercial free, really, because I'm just sat here tell doing a commercial. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can ship signs right to your door. Or if you're like in the te uh, North Texas area or the Dallas area, Metroplex area, we can actually come and install them for you. Um and we can make you some of the coolest shirts. We can make some awesome, awesome shirts, hats, hoodies, blah, 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 blah. Big, huge banners, banners that says the Yankee and the Brit show is the coolest. We can make them. In fact, right at, right now, we have a big 16-foot banner right down the side of the cabin that we've been working on today. So, uh, yes, we can make you all sorts. There Pictures you go. That's a 11. bit of... <laughs> so, <laughs> so, there is our shameless plug. We are now not commercial free. Thank you, dear. And Yankee and the Brit, rock and roll British style, Friday night, the RTM Radio Network. Yes, sir. Over here making it happen. Boy, I can smell those things as soon as you take the lid off of those. What does it smell like? Just kind of a a fruit berry kind of... Try it. Taste it. Thing. No, I won't put that in. What is it anyway? It's just been near your nose and then you want me to put it in my mouth. God, it's like chewing on a rubber band. What is that? It's like sniffing it and almost shoving it. It's a vitamin thing. It is a woman's adult it's a what? gummy. Woman's adult gummy. No, Complete what are they? multivitamin dietary supplement. What? What's that other word? Gummy? No, this... Uh, woman's? No. You're, you're not, not familiar even... with that word. That, uh, where'd it go? <laughs> right here. Uh, what is that? Multivitamin. A vitamin. Multivitamin. <laughs> what? Vitamin. Vitamin. See, Multi. I just wanted the British part to come out. Multi vitamin. A vitamin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that wife. Vitamins. That's what's what it is. Yes. I've got me some bloody vitamins. That's what you should play. Some Lily Allen. Mm. You've not got much um, female I'm stuff. Still, we were trying to it. chew this thing to get it to break. Mm. Very bizarre. Dead air. This dead air is brought to you by Ran the Man trying to eat a multivitamin it's like gummy bears chewy only gummy worse. thingy. I know they smell like vomit sometimes, don't they? But oh, sometimes they, they smell, smell fruity. Every time you open the bottle, I know exactly what you're doing over there. I don't know oh my to gosh! Look. But it's just very bizarre. That's all. 
All right. Anyways, moving right along. Arctic here. monkeys. Get some Arctic monkeys on. Oh, they are totally, right totally British dudes. Mm. Hey, also I wanted to remind you that tomorrow night is country night. Saturday night with the Yankee mm-hmm. and the Brit. Our guest will be the Ryan Perry Band. Straight up at uh, 8 o'clock. Make and sure I was, you're here. I was just telling Randy, I am probably going to have so many problems understanding that dude. He wrote, and this was this was just writing on Facebook. Yeah, he wrote about four or five lines, and I understood about three words in that sentence. I thought, what the bloody hell has he just wrote? And then like I thought, Donna's I can't believe he's coming on time. our show on Saturday night. I am never going to understand a word he says. Sounds like Donna's going to have a good time. Yes, sir. I'm gonna do all the translating, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will just give him. I will just give him the telephone directory and ask him to recite it, and I'll just sit here and, uh, you know, yeah. drool or something. Whatever, Ryan Perry <laughs> band tomorrow night, straight up eight o'clock Texas time with a Yankee and a Brit, and Texas time is Central time for those of you who just can't seem to understand what that is. You know, I would think when I say Texas time, you're like, "What's Texas time?" You look it up. What's the time zone in Texas? <gasps> Bingo. Who's Davy answer. Jones? amazing davy jones yeah from the uh, monkeys i don't know well who asked jojo well, well she probably. wrote she wrote davy jones but davy jones was british actually yes ah he was in the monkeys you see we were talking you see jojo if you if you come in the bloody chat room then you know what we're talking about <laughs> over in there because debra didn't i asked her what her british uh, song request was and she didn't know any british songs but as it turns out just like myself and just like Thomas in the chat room, you know, there's so many British artists that sings the songs that you guys have known and loved for years. All those songs that you've jammed to going down the road while you've been driving or, you know, all those songs you didn't even know were British. And uh, just like myself, I didn't know all these people were British. But I have to say that the Brits have done some pretty damn good music. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't mm. deny that for a minute. Hence the uh, British invasion, as they called it when it happened. All good stuff. I love yes. all that music. A lot of good stuff. In fact, we'll do one right here that's really cool. And then uh, we'll hit Thomas's request from earlier for uh, the sweet Little Willie. But check this out. Here's Robbie Williams doing a funky little newer. Now, let me just tell you about Robbie Williams for a second. He's got a nice ass and he's got this. He's he's a bit easy on the ass. Oh, look at that picture of him. He's just like sex. Oh, my gosh. He's gorgeous. And he's bum. I can't. Oh, la, 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 la. I don't know. Like right there, I think he's geeky looking. But there's. Now, when he does the. uh... Look, what is geeky looking about that? He's in a bath, right? And he's Uh, naked from the. Waist up. Shut up! And he's just looking hot. He's got these tattoos down his arms, mm. and he just kind of looks right. rough, and, rough and ready. Anyway, and now look at him there. Does that look pretty? Because <laughs> he's ripped all his flesh off. <laughs> well, there's a difference there, isn't there? <laughs> what I was going to say is when like he's singing the Sinatra songs and stuff from that era. Oh yes, he looks awesome. Great looking guy in a suit. Carries himself well. Mm-hmm. Great voice. Guy mm-hmm. can sing, no doubt. But that right there, that's trying to be something he's not. So I think that's sexy. the video to feel. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, the video to feel, Robbie Williams feel, he is on a horse, and I kid you not, he is just, oh, he is just so damn sexy. And there's that woman from Four Non Blondes with a big giant mouth. I know, she's got Still a like, huge ah, mouth, man. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, let me tell you quick about Robbie Williams before we play it. He is, um, I used to see him in a band called Take That when I was a teenager. Take I that. just, I just loved Take That. <laughs> Um, when I was about 13 or 14. Take that! Zow. I just loved them. Bow. And now I see wow. the dancers. Shut up! Now when I see Take That dancing from like old videos, I think, oh my gosh. There is something seriously wrong with those boys. But anyway... You didn't Robbie, think so then, though, did you? Robbie Williams is, um, is quite the talent, you know. I've kind of uh, not followed him closely, you know. I'm not a stalker like that. But I have kind of followed him on and off over the years. And he is quite the talented man. You know, um, the uh, Robbie Williams live at the Albert Hall. I've watched that uh, on a DVD. And, and then I've watched And I've watched it on Randy's YouTube. And he is just amazing in it. You know, I can't fault him. He's just a really, really good entertainer. He does all different styles of music. And he's... Um, he can be a bit of a prick sometimes, you know. He's got a bit of an arrogance about he him. He's very cocky. But yeah, he is. He's, he's. That's what I mean about that right there. He thinks he's all that. Look, he look, he looks sexy there. You won't even see it. You're a oh, man. Whatever. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, I've kind of followed him on and off through the years, and he's quite the entertainer. So, um, you know, I will keep following him, even though he is a bit of a prick.
<laughs> look who's in the chat room look hello Robert. what is robert brown what is your british song request it has to be british we want to know what you would like to hear and it's, it's some rock you know because it's a bit of a rock friday now as you well know that's right yes oh look genesis as well i bet the bra has heard of genesis oh if she hasn't she's been in the and, stuck out in the woods somewhere too long and who's that who's that band that sings um I've been driving in my car. Who sings that? Is that madness? Um, uh, I couldn't tell you. With I don't know. I got to hear it's it. It's quite like a jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like madness. They do <laughs> weird <laughs> stuff like that. I don't know, but I really want to play this tune. Yes. Who is it? This is Robbie Williams. Not my favourite Robbie tune, because he won't put that song on, because he knows I'll be drooling over no. the cowboy Robbie Williams. Come on. But anyway, it. this is Rock DJ... And that's why we call it Rock Night with the Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. Network. That was the Sex Pistols with Anarchy in the UK from the album Never Mind the Bollocks. Never Mind the Bollocks, eh? Here is the Sex Pistols. Jolly good. Hey, that's what song you could play, which is very, very British. The Bollocks song by Hail and Pace. Remember, we were watching it in bed. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. I forgot we were going to cut that clip out of there, and I forgot <laughs> to do that. Yeah, that's a good tune, too. Uh, that's why we call it Rock Night. Yankee and Brit, rock and roll. We're doing it British style tonight. It is 8.15. Thanks, Samo, for the weather, by the way. I forgot to say yeah. that. Uh, never like to not tell Samo thank you, because it's so nice to have him around when we need him. Good man right there. In the meantime, back to the rock and roll on our Friday night. Don't forget, tomorrow night is country night. That is always on Saturday night. 7 o'clock, Yankee time. No, it ain't Yankee time. It's Texas time. What the hell am I saying over here? You're Jeez. all Yankees. We were talking about this the other day. Well, that's that, right. Who did we tell that, that to? It was when we was in that church. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. I told anybody that that's, we're all Yankees. Yeah, anybody that's in America to a Brit is a Yankee. So, Ted Williams, you're a Yankee. Everybody's Robert Brown, Yankee. you're a Yankee. Tonight, you're all bloody Yankees. Thomas, you're a bloody Yank too. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I'm kind of half Yank now. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, the other day, I'm so glad that Randy didn't hear me, but I said something and I sounded really American and I was what like... What did you say? I can't remember what it was, but I was like thinking, I am so glad that he did not hear me. I'm becoming more of a British bloke, and she's becoming more of a yank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of swap places. What'd you say? I can't remember. Oh, well, bloody hell. I was actually bitching at you, actually. I was mumbling under my breath about summer. Well, there you go. The Kinks, Yankee and Brittany, RTM Radio Network. I have a little uh, issue with this, but Donna proved me wrong again. Yes, she he always is does. British, and we listen to his that song how many times? All oh, right, it's not that I don't like the song. I just didn't know that he was British. He was yeah. born. Where's that page at? He was born in he London. He is from St. St. John's, John's Wood. Wood in London. He's a Cockney. Mark Ronson, of all people, was born in St. John's Wood, London. London. And uh, lovely. That uh, Debbie had a request for Mark Ronson and Uptown Funk. So guess what? Here it is. <laughs> I don't know how this works out, but British is British, right then? Jolly good. Pip pip, cheerio and all that crop trot. Jolly good. Is it tea time yet, wife? <laughs> chop chop! Now, now see, there's the rub for me, is the fact that uh, Mark Ronson is British, right? Right. But Bruno Mars is not. So, I'm... Eh, I don't know. I don't include that British... And I was going to do a song, actually, Valerie, by uh, Amy Winehouse. Um, I think she's American, isn't she? But mm. it's a Mark Ronson-produced song, and I was going to sing it for tonight's show, but we never just never got time to do it. Um, but, yeah, it's strange. There are people that you think are American. I, In fact, let me tell you, I didn't know. I always thought that Bert from Mary Poppins was um, British. I just thought he was a Cockney British. I because he did such a great job. Yeah. But that's oh, Dick Van Dyke, he's slicker and snot on a doorknob anyway. Yeah, I just love him to bits. He's now in his, what, 80s, and I still just love him to bits. Um, he's awesome. Oh he's my the coolest, gosh. man. And you know now, that... There's going to be a sad day when that man dies. Yeah, and you know, do you know what actually makes my heart just fucking melt? Oh, for is 
Alfred. Oh my gosh, yes. Don't say his name because he'll be up. Oh, right. um, but Dick Van Dyke, when he's doing that, uh, when he's doing that uh, one man banding on Mary Poppins, and he looks up to the sky and he's singing. I tell you what, his blue eyes. Oh my gosh, I just melt right there and then every time I watch it. But anyway, I thought that he. You are one bloody strange. Bird, <laughs> I did think that he was a Brit, and um, and apparently just a few years ago he he wrote apology letters. For um, for sounding so terrible in Mary Poppins as a Brit, I mean, I know he was believe... afraid he was embarrassing the British as well. Yeah, he was how could he? Uh, how could he be? I'd, I'd, honest to gosh, I, until until maybe two or three years ago, I thought that he was. Um, that I thought that he was a Brit. You know, it was only Randy that told me when on webcam. You know, a couple of years ago, that uh, that he was, more was than that a couple he was years America. Ago, I hate to remind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I've known you so long now. But yeah, there's, there's so many, and uh, and I don't know which one's which. Um, Laurel and Hardy. You know, apparently one of them's an American and one of them's a Brit. But we've got a uh, we've got a Laurel and Hardy clip to play tonight. So you know. We're, I think I think throughout life we're influenced by both. Aren't well, now we? if that's the case, see now uh, JoJo see? was talking about Davy Jones from the Monkees. Davy Jones is definitely British, so but he's in an American band. So do we play the Monkees because Davy Jones is British? That's kind of eh. I love the Monkees, all cool. Eh, hey, with the Monkees. But you know, hey Lee Godfrey, what's up, dude? British night. Come on over, bloke. Yes, and hello to Joseph Jones. He always hits that like button or that wow. Always hit a wow button today. There he is then. He always po- he always good. hits the like button on the RTM Wide Open page, which is the page where you can just post any of your stuff. You know, you want to post stuff about your hairy, sweaty backside, you go ahead and do it because the Yankee and the Brit Show page is just for radio It's your stuff. ass in Facebook jail, <laughs> not ours. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Look... What we got over here then? What are we looking at? Lee Godfrey would like to hear some Slayer. Is Slayer British? I think Slayer is British. I did. I couldn't tell. Let's you. have a look, shall we? Where I'm not into some of those hard rockers. Like Slayer that. from the Double Dutch Bus. What? Get out of here! Hang on, Slayer is an American heavy metal band from Huntington Park. <laughs> not playing any. It's not all happening. British. This British is bands. A British show tonight. British, don't British, you know? British. <laughs> not these bloody wanker yankers. <laughs> these Yankee wankers or whatever. Yankee wankers, Yank wankers. Uh, double think... Dutch bus. Are you serious, Deborah? Come on. Never play that stuff on here. Get out of here. Go home. <laughs> I'm only serious. Don't panic. All right. Uh, let's see. Deborah says, you hot me on that one. Ooh, easy over there now. All right. Well, anyways, moving right along. And I've got a whole list of British bands over here. If you didn't know they were British, like oh. Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, of course, The Who, Pink Floyd, Queen. We go on down the list. We get down to Deep Purple, Black Sabbath. And listen, the listen, animals. listen. Yes. Robert, what? I'm talking over here and you walk right over top of I me. I know. Could I've had it. No. Shut up. No. Robert, Robert Brown would like you to play Stay With Me, which is by Sam Smith. And he is from Kirkcaldy. In Scotland, oh, he yeah. is he is from where Donna G, who comes in the chat sometimes, he is from the same town as her. Is that right? That's right. Well, I'll be damned. Other bands that are also British, The Clash, which we haven't played any of that yet, have we? The Police, The Yardbirds, of course, John Lennon, Hendrix. I didn't Clapton, know Eric Roxy Clapton Music. was British. Never knew that in my whole life. Oasis, of course, Elton John, Sex Pistols, Dire Straits, The Smiths. Uh, what else we got? Simple Minds, uh, Iron Maiden, Blind Faith, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, New Order, Radiohead. Yes, Elvis Costello. How does he get in there? I thought he is he British really? Now that I didn't know. The Jam, The Arcana, Judas Priest, Blur, Coldplay. There is an endless list of British bands. Death Leopard. Are they really British? Yes. No, they're yes. not. No, bollocks. <laughs> Bad Company, Motorhead, who sings um, Orgasmodrum. Uh, yeah, who knew? Wings? Well, of course, Wings. That's Paul McCartney's gang. Small Faces, which uh, played with uh, Rod Stewart. I believe that's the same Small Faces. Depeche Mode. King Crimson. I love King Crimson, especially Elephant Talk. We might play that one because that's a cool tune. Stone Roses. You guys don't seem to know much about Stone Roses over here, but no. yeah, they're pretty cool. Traffic. Traffic's an awesome band. Uh, the Hollies. Madness. Kate Bush. She's got some pretty cool stuff. She's got T-Rex, a bush. The Verve. 
Um, men is just, they're endless. And P- you know, Gabriel are, of all people. And of course, Brian Eno. Proco Harem, Muse, the pretty things, the zombies, the trogs. Susie and the band, she's all these. I didn't have no Adam and the Ants, which I don't think you guys know much about. Well, Van Rory Morrison. Gallagher. Who? So Van Morrison. Yeah, that surprised me. I had no clue he was pretty. Slade. Now, I thought Slade was a yank. Joe Meek and the Blue Men. The list is friggin' endless gang. White Snake. White Snake of all mm. groups. You know, I thought that was a yank. Joy Division, Roy Wood, Pretenders. The Pretenders. Chrissy Hine is British. Mm hmm. I did not know that either. The Dave Clark uh, Five? Yeah, they were good. I'm in pieces, bits Ten and pieces. pieces. The beat, John Cale. John Cale's cool. There's all kinds of stuff. Christ, it says load more. Wow. I didn't know that a lot of those bands were British. I really didn't. They all sound so bloody American. <coughs> or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, so don't forget Robert's tune. And Oh, we, what was that? Uh, it's Stay what? With Me by Sam Smith. All right, stay I with think, me. Yeah, stay I think it's um, that me. song that goes, stay with me, stay <coughs> with me. I don't know, but before I forget, let's go over here and do this one for Thomas that he asked for like a friggin' hour ago. <laughs> That was the sound of the Doctor Who TARDIS. Doctor Who is something that keeps us Brits off Facebook for an hour on a Saturday night. Doctor Who is a British science fiction television programme produced by the BBC. The programme depicts the adventures of a Time Lord, a time-travelling humanoid alien known as the Doctor. He explores the universe in his TARDIS time-travelling spaceship. Its exterior appears as a blue British police box, common sight in Britain in 1963 when the series first aired. Along with a succession of companions, the Doctor faces a variety of foes while working to save civilization, help ordinary people and right wrongs. And that's exactly where you are, the RTM Radio Network with the Yankee and the Brit, and by request, it's Sam Smith, and stay with me. By request for Robert. Sam Smith, the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. That Friday wasn't night. the song I was thinking about when I, uh, when I, when I looked up the song. No, was... but here's a little bit of what we know about Samuel Frederick Smith, who was born on the 19th of May in 1992. He's an English singer-songwriter. Obviously, he's English. Mm-hmm. I can't say much for that voice. He sounds like a girl. But anyways, he rose to fame in October 2012 when he was featured on Disclosure's bake th- bleh, 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 breakthrough single, Latch. Never heard of it. But uh, he's released some debut studio albums in The Lonely Hour in 2014. Uh, he's just done a whole big list of things. I just really, saw the uh, lizard. Not much on him here, over than his list of tunes. And hey, like I just that. saw that lizard run down the wall again. <laughs> we have a resident lizard here at the Yankee and the Brit Studios. Uh, We've up. had him for maybe six or seven weeks now. Um, but I used to, I used to own a load of reptiles when I was back in Derby. The first so time I that just bloody love... bastard gets in bed with me, he's dead. I just love having reptiles in here. Just the thought that there's a cute little lizard running around, Creepy I just love the idea. So it me. can live here for the rest of its life for me. But I, it's I, it's going to be a short life. I suspect that that's not the same <laughs> lizard because it's still so tiny. You know, you would have thought it had grown a bit by now. Mm, so maybe they it's don't get not very big though one. around here. Not those. We don't have big lizards here. You got to go further out west for the bigger ones. Those aren't even a lizard, really. Those are. Uh, it's a little gecko. It was. Yeah, but they got another. I can't think of the name. What the hell they call them? Uh, oh, little lizard. Uh, I forget what the hell they are. But anyways, you know what I'm mm. talking about. Yeah. So anyways, uh, moving right along over here, we have a request. Here's one for JoJo. It's uh, Ziggy uh, Stardust, David Bowie, by request. Bye. You're only 
supposed to blow the bloody doors off? Remember that movie, The Italian Job? I think I, I don't think I saw it, but it was a pretty cool movie from what I understand. So Donna's decided we're going to watch it. Yes. And what's the other film? Michael Caine, by the way. What did we watch this week? And I can't bloody remember now. Star Trek? Did we watch? No. Um, no, 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 no. Um, what a couple of bloody worthless wankers. <laughs> we watched a film this week and we cannot remember. Did we like it? Yeah, I think we liked it. <laughs> We have been watching um, Midnight Texas, if anybody's heard of it. That's a different little show. We Yeah, we kind of stumbled upon it by accident. You and did. um Yeah. I don't look for TV to watch. That's what we watched. We watched Money Monster That's with it. George Clooney. Yeah, Money Monster. It was all right. Not bad. I felt sorry for the kid that got killed in the end more than yeah, I felt sorry I for anybody too. else. Um, of course... Uh, George Clooney is a, uh, he's not a con man, but he's a money man. You know, he goes on, has a TV show, and he talks about stocks, and uh, you should buy this stock, and blah, and blah, blah. And he's very and, dismissive uh, of people. Very influential on people to buy stocks or sell their stocks and things like that. But uh, overall, I know it's a... Uh, Alfred! <laughs> <laughs> overall, it's a spoiler, but uh, he basically... Uh, Tells these people to buy this stock. This guy puts every bit of money he has into it, and he loses it all. So the guy comes in and takes him hostage right on TV. They keep it airing, and uh, they show the whole thing going on. And uh, the guy was just trying to make things better. His, his girlfriend was pregnant. He was trying to uh, make money, you know, legally and do things right, and uh, it all went sour, and he pulled a gun and held him hostage. And in the end, he's got his ass blown away. And, uh, and the reason that George Clooney even gave the tips that he did is because he was lied to, just like the people were. So he really didn't do anything wrong. He was passing on bad information, and he didn't even know it was oh, bad God. information. So, because found out the company was, uh, you know, screwed everybody out of eight. What was it, eight million dollars or something? He took advantage yeah. of them over. So uh, that's what it's all about. But it's a good movie. I mean, it's pretty cool. If you uh, decide you want to check it out, go for it. David Bowie and Ziggy Stardust. Yes, he did, as a matter of fact. Yankee and the Brit in the RTM Radio Network Friday night, rocking it out British style over here. What are you doing? I'm just denying the dog. That's nothing new. Hello there, Alfred. What's up, buddy? He is just so damn cute when he's looking down and all his face skin all wrinkles up. Are you oh, all right? Just so beautiful. Everything going all right for you? Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. Good. Glad to uh, see that you're uh, behaving over there. Oh, how else am I supposed to be? I'm quite the dog, you know. Yeah, I, I know you're quite the dog, all right. Look at the size of that head, man. You are a monster. He's got like a giant neck. Alfred has the thickest neck. Even Chris was amazed by how big he was. Mm. Wow, he's huge. <laughs> he is. Hello. Nice to see you, buddy. You're good looking. Look at that hairy bastard. What Jeez. have you got cooking? He's really started molting the past few days. I wonder if as I well. put some of his <laughs> molting. Like he's a bird. Well, but dogs sh- molt too. They shed. They dogs molt. molt. <laughs> Look at him hooked around my arm. <laughs> Little shit. I wonder Hello. if I put some of his yeah. hair out in the train if it'll keep the squirrels out of there. I'm going to try that. What can it hurt? You know? <laughs> oh, you like that. Maybe that you? nasty smell will get rid of him, which I doubt. But <laughs> nice thought, anyways. All right, we're doing the rock and roll thing British style over here. Where are we? What we left style, off doggy? with? Huh? <laughs> what are you staring at before, you weirdo? Yeah. Hope you're having fun over there. Rod Stewart and Hot Leg, <laughs> Man from Man Van over there, and uh, Do Wa uh, Diddy. What a voice. Quite a unique voice, actually. Uh, and still, I think they're still jamming today. I was they? sat trying to think of the rude words that um, we at school put to that song. Really? Yeah, Like, really. I should be surprised by this. Look, um... I fit right into this family of uh, people that make up song lyrics. <laughs> uh, there's plenty of them, boy. You know what we do behind the scenes. Yes, sir. <laughs> there isn't a song I've sung with a right word in it yet. <laughs> it's always to my liking. Go on, then. <sighs> Let's see what Thomas would like us to play. Okay. Yeah, Rod Stewart. I sat. I was watching. There was there was the, there was the image of. Um, there was the image of the girl with her legs up, and he's and he's kind of sat in front of her, looking at her, and he's brushing his hair back with his hands. And I thought, gosh, she looks like a woman. It looks like um, I don't know what he looks like, but yeah, he just looked like a woman. And if yeah, well, I was in the middle of jamming that tune, uh, whether I could or not, not the point. I just love the way people just 
dead end their music. Can don't you listen to what you post? Don't you want to hear the whole song? Sometimes the last note is the best one. What is the matter with I you? I know people, people spend all that time adding lyrics and stuff to uh, videos on YouTube, and then they go and cut the end of the song off. Cut it off right or at the throat. they go and spell it really bad. You know, there's some tunes, man, that, that fade out, and all of a sudden there's a wicked little guitar lick right at the end or something. That's, you know, that's like the best part. What is the matter with you? You'll get through. Yes, you will. Yankee and the Brit and the RTM Radio Network rocking it British style on a Friday On night. a British Friday night. And I am fully stocked with tea bags tonight. <laughs> Drag them out the sea. I'm going to tea bag you. <laughs> yeah, Randy has promised me tonight. Seeing as it's I a didn't British... promise shit. Shut up, you. Oh, no. seen as it's oh, I a... won't. Seeing as it's a British theme no. night, he said he is going to be tea bagging me tonight. Night. I mean, the last the, oh, the last time I had a good tea bagging was when I had a pot of tea. <laughs> You're gonna slap my chops with your nuts. Oh, that's the sound of being tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> and it oh comes gosh. without a string. <laughs> no strings attached. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother! I know. Oh that's my gosh! Rotten, right? <laughs> Aren't you guys glad at Chrome and Steel that you invited us over there? <laughs> I guess, man. I wasn't going to mention We're good that yet. I was waiting until we could get everything straightened out. So I don't know if Mario's listening or not, but I don't might. All right. Jolly good. Bonjour and whatever. All right, Frenchman. Huh? I said, all right, Frenchman and Bruce and Joe the Ho. He He's Italian, isn't he? No. Is he French? He's French, yeah. Don't you remember we was on webcam on with Mario Zimimi. that night and he was playing all song intros and we had to guess the song? I know, it was funny, man. The yeah, guy's awesome. we had a good night with Love him. Love that guy. We'll never match that style. He's just too cool. He's beyond too cool. Yes, I think we're... Uh, I wasn't going to mention it because I'm not sure of the details. I don't even know... No, I don't know, really. Anything, but we're going <laughs> to be broadcasting... As far as I understand at the moment, through Chrome and Steel Radio on Friday and Saturday also. I don't so. think it's going to be on... Uh, I think they're just playing it on their show some, at some point. I think it's through the week, says, I'm not I don't sure. Know. Yeah, every day through the week, but I don't I don't know. I we still haven't got... To, I don't know. Donna was talking to him. I don't even know why I said anything, because I don't know. How many times must I say I don't know? I wasn't asking you to know. I'm asking me to know. I should know, but I'm so busy over here. You won't let me in on the details. <laughs> Look, the I'll message you know, is... You're on a need-to-know basis, and right now, you don't need to know. The message is there. You just have to look at it. Mm. There you go. I can't help it. I'm bloody white. <laughs> Did you hear that lady today at Home Depot laughing when I was talking about being a dumb white guy and all that shit? She <laughs> was cracking up. <laughs> She's a black woman, by the way. She just thought it was funny as hell. See, there's people you can talk to. There's no racial issues. I think that's cool. That's what it's all about. We're people. We're friends. You know, that's the cool thing. What we got here, then? Oh, yes, this over here. All right, then and we're still doing the British play. thing. Yeah, don't forget to play the Yankee and the Brit oh, right. Yellow Submarine. If the Chrome and Steel are here in the Yankee and the Brit Lodge, then they better hear some of their crappy stuff. If this don't scare you away, nothing will. Yes. <laughs> Yankee and the Brit. In, in the, the town where I was born, was born lived a man, man sailed to sea. And he told us of, of his life In the land of submarines So we sailed into the sun Till we found a sea of green And we lived beneath the waves In a yellow submarine We all live in a yellow submarine Yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine, yellow submarine. And our friends are all on board. Many more of them live next door. And the band begins to play. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead, Samo. Full speed ahead, Mr. Martin. Aye, aye, sir. Full speed ahead. Drop the line. Drop the lines. 
As we live the life of ease, life of green. Every one of us, every one of us, all we need is all we need. Sky of blue, sky of blue, and sea of green, a sea of green. In a yellow, in a yellow submarine, submarine. <laughs> we all live in a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Judas Priest, breaking the law, like we've all done at one time or another. <laughs> at least, well, yeah, all of us have, I'm sure. Somehow, when you drive, I'm sure you're breaking the law. Especially if you're in Texas, because the speed limit's 75, some places 85, whatever. But uh, and everybody goes 85, 90, they don't care. They're, they either go 45 or 85. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's about it, too, man. One speed or the other, there's no in-between. Hammer down is the way it goes. Hey, i got to play this tune. Now, this is not British, but i got to play it because it's a very cool tune. I thought so anyways, but that's just me. Um, it's called Ride, Tommy Castro and the Painkillers. Pain I come across this. I don't know how you found it, didn't you? I think so, Did yeah. We, 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 picked it, we picked it up on Soundhound, didn't we? Oh, yeah, Soundhound, yeah. We, so we picked it up, actually, when we were driving down the road. Yes, it's in my Soundhound. Yeah, it was on some funky uh, station in Dallas. Uh, we were flipping around the channels because we get tired of listening to us. I get, I'm get, i sick of hearing us sing, but Donna's got a whole... Anyways, um, this is a very cool tune, man. I just thought I'd throw this in here just because I like it. So I'm picking a tune for me. Ride, Tommy Castro and the Pain. Genesis. Of course, another great British band. And Squonk, the Yankee and the Brit on a British rockin' Friday night on the RTM Radio Network. Dig it, man. Get out there and let's do some grooving, man. Some wicked tunage, right? Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Queen and those fat-ass bitches riding them bicycles. I know that's a different song, but it's still badass, man. By request over here, off the hotline, Humble Pie and 30 Days in the Hole. Like Yankee and a Brit, rocking it British style on a Friday night. Yes, yes and it's been good to get requests. Um, you know, when we do like a themed show, it's good because we get requests that we don't normally get. You know, sometimes we get into a... Um, you know, we get into a bit of a rut playing the same songs because people request the same songs. Not only is it good, it's nice to know that somebody's listening. Yeah, but it's nice It's nice to, to get different requests coming in. Mm. Yes, it is. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So maybe we will do more British shows in the future so you guys will have to That's right. do your research and find more people that are British. That's right. And let me mention again that tomorrow night is Country Night with the Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio And Network. we will be having on the Ryan Perry Band. And let's just give you a little a sample of what that's all about. And we'll throw one more tune at you and then we're out of here for tonight. We are gone. Here's what the Ryan I'm Perry Band is tonight. all about. I'm getting late tonight. I don't know about you, husband. If you don't shut up, you're going to get decked. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Yankee late and the Brit. Decks, same thing. A little taste of the Ryan Perry Band. They're going to join us tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Be there or be square, as they used to say in the old your choice for country music, the RTM Radio Network. Well, there's a little taste of what you're going to get tomorrow night, Look so make sure that. you tune in. He wets our, wets our whistles and then turns the bloody thing off. So come on over and check them out, get to know the band. Always got some good music for you, that's for sure. Country night, Saturday night. I guess we all going to have to with tune in. We, the didn't have to, we didn't get to listen to the bloody You know, if you thing. pay attention to what <laughs> I say, here's a little taste of it. Not here's the whole damn song. I, I want a whole bloody sandwich. Why don't you bloody oh, listen, you blasted twit. Brit, knit wit over there. <laughs> Good God almighty. Beast of burden. We're so if you want to listen to the rest of that, then you're going to have to tune in tomorrow night, guys and gals. Silence. The Yankee and the Brit Show. Silence. What? There's a new order in this town and it's mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now back off, baby. The Stones taking us out of here in the Beast of Burden. Nighty night, everybody. Love you guys. Gotta fly. Time is of the essence, that's for sure. Thomas says he's off to play with his baby maker. 
Who? Thomas. He says he's off to play with his baby maker. I says, Uh you dick, it's going to fall off. (laughs) That is very disgusting. I don't know if you realize that or not, but all right then. Have fun, that's for sure. Yeah, we are out of here. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight on a rock and roll Friday night. I believe you may find us on Chrome and Steel here in the very near future. I hope if Mario's happy and Joe's happy and everybody's happy, but... uh, I'm not happy, but hey, I'm never happy. Where? Why? What you got to be not happy about? Because it's nice outside, and I've been stuck in the house working all bloody week. Oh, I'm supposed to talk Stop like a British. Stop moaning, you nagging old twat. You sound like a couple of nattering nannies. <laughs> yeah, nattering nannies. <laughs> that was one of my favorite lines I ever heard you say. <laughs> a couple of nattering nannies. Well, that would be me then. I hope then. He gets me to say certain things so that I say certain words, like... What was on my jar tonight? What multivitamins. We, what we got you know, he gets me to read certain words. Say, so vit- that say vitamins. 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 And to get to the vitamins, <laughs> you would go on Route 80 something to get to Walmart. 82. You would go down Route 82 to You're get to about my here, multivitamins. Not yes. What road get, would you want to get nah, to? Walmart. Nah, 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 nah. Now, what seventy-five? What dual carriageway would you take to get vitamins in you Britain? Would, <laughs> you would you would, take the A12? No, you would not. You would take your feet about five minutes round the corner. It's not like Texas, you know. You can go, you can walk for like five minutes, and you can be at the supermarket over here. It takes like half an hour to drive. Isn't that beautiful? Live that far away from people. Yes, oh, I love it. I know. It's Although great. we seem to be there so much, but yeah, it I is. know. Really, it's nice. But uh, I think it's cool as hell. Our neighbours are cows and horses and donkeys <laughs> and whatever else happens to be out here. A nurse and a paper man. Yep. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Oh, no, forgot Tracy over there. He's a construction guy. A man called Tracy, would you believe it? Would you? What's Adam so and Eve it. That? There's Tracy Snyder's, Tracy Lawrence. You people all kinds are of weird. Weird, I tell you. Oh, yes, us and our vitamins, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jolly good, then. And don't forget to get your biscuits and your crackers all straight. Yes. Your biscuits and your cookies, anyways. Your chocolate biscuits yeah. that you dip in your tea. That's right. Well, anyway, say goodnight, Donna. Good night, Donna. We love you guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow night for Country Night. Yankee and the Brits, the place to be. Radio living is the life for me. Airwaves spreading out so far and wide. Keep your FM, just give me that internet side. On. Line is where I'd rather stay I've got a lot of music to play I just adore a Yankee view Darling, I love you, but give me a show to do The Chap The Brats On air That's fair You are my wife Goodbye, British life The Yankee and the Brit on air